Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingImperfection.com. Welcome to my craft room. I wanted to share a couple things that I recently discovered. Um, you may have already heard about them, but I'm always looking for new ways or prettier ways to decorate my craft room. And I just wanted to share a couple things with you. What you're looking at right now is um, a small piece of countertop that I bought. It was already pre-cut. It wasn't very expensive at one of the home improvement stores. It's sitting on top of a set of drawers I got at Ikea for Christmas from my mother that I keep my 12 inch paper in. Um, and this is where I keep my Big Shot. I use it all the time so it's right next to my desk if I just pan around. like The room that I craft in is only 7 feet wide and um, it's not a very big space so I just I have the counter and right next to it on the counter you see those that's one of the things I want to share with you today that's where I store my scrap papers and then my desk is right there and that's my crafting space like that's it so I have um, drawers underneath my desk and then I have stamp storage and stuff which I've shown before in other videos but a couple of things that I recently discovered here's one of them I just went to a 31 party my cousin just started selling 31 products and I got these file folder holders and I got three of them and three of them is actually perfect and um, I use something like a collapsible file box I have these like these file expandable envelopes inside and inside those, like this one has files inside it, and I have them organized. Like I have a whole expandable file for Whisper White, very vanilla, and then I have one for my new, the other neutrals with files inside, and that works really well for me. Then um, I have three other ones with all my in colors in one, the pinks and reds, the oranges and yellows, the greens, the blues and the purples. And that works really well for me because I can carry this around plus it is sitting absolutely right next to my desk so I can just reach over, I don't even have to get out of my seat, I can just reach over and I automatically when I'm done file the scraps in here and then I automatically reach for the folder first before I go cut a new piece. Um, so I, it's, I'm really using up my scraps more and it's helping me keep my desk clean because I don't have piles of paper. And then to store my 12 by 12 papers, the, the drawers are right underneath here. And I store my 12 by 12 papers right inside. I just open the top of the package. This is the Venetian Romance. And when I'm done with the piece, I just slide it back in. And that actually works really well. I keep all the papers together from one designer series paper pack, and it's working really well. So these are the, this is like the multicolor pattern, but this is the file box. It's got two handles. I really like it. Apparently you can put hanging file folders, but I already had a system where I had the expandable folders, so I just tucked them in there. That works so well for papers. Like, I'm really, my room is really staying tidier. Now, um, next to my Big Shot, here's another 31 product that I really liked. Um, I think this is the mini bin. I will look it up and put the number and stuff on the video. But this is holding all my embossing folders. And it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. I actually bought, and this is the turquoise crossover color, I think. But um, I actually bought several of these because I have one. I have one sitting in a cubby next to my desk. Oops. I don't know if you can see that. I pulled it too close. So that's the bin holding all of my embossing folders. And I wanted, I kind of wanted things to match and this kind of went along with the multicolor. I bought one. Here are my stamp cleaners holding my clear blocks and that sits right on my desk in a cubby right next to me. So I have tools in one. I have um, like my Mod Podge, shaving cream, and things like that that I use for different crafts. So I have my embossing folders in this, and then I'm, I've showed you this before, but I have all my um, framelits. I keep them in the package they come in. The only thing I do is I add a magnetic, um, it's a, actually a magnetic picture 
holder that you has a sticky side, you ordinarily would put a 4x6 photo on it. It works perfectly to hold my um, framelits, and since I keep them in here, I can see exactly what I have, and I can see what the number is. And this is one of the um, organizers that you can purchase from Stamping Up. I don't even put the top on. The top doesn't actually fit on. I actually have it propped on top of the top. So those are just a couple of organizing things that I really love and they're really helping to keep me organized. Because it's easy once I'm done using an embossing folder to drop it in here to put the framelit back in here and put it back in the box because it sits directly next to my um, Big Shot. So that that's working really well for me. Keeping things really close by where I craft is also working really well for me. So that's that. I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching.